Hey guys, Erin here with another quick tutorial for your Silhouette Cameo. Today we'll be going over how to make a word into a shape using crop and edit points. I've already gone ahead and made one that says family inside of a heart shape, but I'm going to do one that's not as many letters so it won't take as long Then give you the general idea of how to do this. So I'm just going to put this to the side and bring up my heart. Now you can find a heart on Google Images and just trace that. Or if you already have a heart from anywhere else, you can bring that in to start with. Next, you're going to want a font. I like to use any font that is thick in size. Impact is a really great one. And I'm just going to type out my word in all caps. And we'll do love because that does not have as many letters as family. And you want to just stretch it out so the L and the V are just going over the heart without actually cutting off anything on the top. So about right there is going to look fine. Actually, let me bring it down a little. Now I'm going to want to just click on the heart and do a copy and paste and put that on my side over here. Now I need to ungroup the letters love so that they're all separated. And I want to drag each letter just outside the heart. So I'm going to use the points on the ends in the middle and just pull in a little bit. Obviously your letters in the middle will pull further down and stretch out. This is why I like doing this type of image with a longer word so you don't have these big letters as you can see in family. Okay, so now you want to highlight everything and you want to go to your modify panel and hit crop and it's taken out the heart. But the word doesn't really look like a heart. And that's why we made the second one. So you want to bring it in and line it back up to where it once was. And I'm actually going to zoom in so we can get it just right. Okay. Everything is lined up. Now if you double click on a letter, you get edit points. And this is where you can modify your letters. So what I'm going to do is pull any part of the letter that's in the heart out. So this side doesn't have an edit point, so I'm just going to make one by putting, pushing on my mouse and pulling. And I want to bring that red line all the way out so that it's all the way out of the heart. Now at the bottom here, the L doesn't come out, so I'm going to have to take this edit point and come straight down. I'm trying to stay straight as possible so that the line of the L is still straight. Mm, the top of the O is fine. O's are weird. I think I'm going to leave it. The V. We want to pull this. And I'm just going to pull the bottom just to make sure. And then on the E, we have to pull this one down. Now I'll pull this one just a little bit to make sure. Stretch this out and pull it. This one has to come out. And this one on the top has to come out too. You're like, Aaron, that looks really weird. I know, it looks terrible. I know, but we are going to highlight it all again. Go to our modify panel and hit crop again. Now it has a little more of a heart shape. Then you can just group it and fill it in with color. You could also copy and paste your heart again and put that in the background and that way you can have a two-toned heart if you wanted to do that but as you can see in the difference the more letters you have it fills up the image properly 
so you don't have these weird gaps like the L looks kind of funny and misshapen. So definitely try to stick with a word that has more letters like family and still get your point across in the shape. Anyway, that's how you do that. It's pretty easy. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. I do try to answer those as quickly as possible. And if you have ideas of other videos I should be doing, leave me a comment about that too. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and happy crafting!